rarely but surely you must be coming across one single patient coming up with triple regional stenotic uh, MRI picture like this. And as a clinician, you are confused about how to go about this condition. So uh, in next seven and a half minutes, I'll be uh, clearing your doubts about all these queries. Why we are confused about this condition? Because in literature, there, there are hardly any studies with such a long series. And as a result, there are no set protocols. That's why we decided to do retrospective review of prospectively collected data of consecutive patients, uh, where triple tandem decompression done at single stage by same team of surgeons between August uh, 2009 to February 2020. There were 17 patients in total, uh, 12 male and five female patients. All patients were followed up uh, six monthly interval with minimum of four months and maximum of 10 years follow-up. VASA and Emodia uh, were used for functional outcome. Clinical presentation wise, uh, we all know that these patients most of, the, most of the times present with imbalance, fine motor dysfunction, ball bladder dysfunction, lower limb radiculopathy, claudication with or without weakness, and all these can be in mixed pattern. So patients with all these symptoms were included in our study and patients who were declared unfit for surgery or neurophysician has uh, claimed that they have got some serious neurological issue contributing to the symptoms were excluded from our study. All patients underweight uh, preoperatively did all these investigations. Neuric grading wise, grade five, there were four patients, grade four, six, grade three, five, and grade two, two patients. All 17 patients underwent same stage triple tandem decompression surgery by same team of surgeons. Training surgical steps, pre post stop surgical protocols were same at all hospitals. We did only simple decompression laminectomy surgery at all three levels. In last four or five years, we are using ultrasonic bone scalpel and we found that very easy. It's very fast. It gives us precise cuts, less blood loss, less anesthesia time, and it's very safe. And this is one of the pictures where uh, T1 to L1 lamina was taken out en masse. And uh, one may question that why fixation was not con contemplated, because we believe that these conditions are most of the times auto-fuse stable, and how can we decide s such a long fusion for so many levels? And basically, we need to understand that neurology is the main indication here rather than actual pain. Post-operatively, uh, post all patients were exposed to a uh, rigorous physio physiotherapy regime, both at uh, hospital and at home. Uh, imaging was done at four months and at 12 months. And later on, MRI was done only if patient got any new complaints. X-rays were done once a year for uh, next five years. So this was the uh, VAS uh, scoring system, which was showing significant improvement uh, neck, arm, back, leg wise. MODI from 74 to uh, 20. Dural tear was seen in seven patients. Uh, all dural tears were sutured. Uh, there was no wound healing issue, no evidence of meningitis in any of these cases. Neuro deficit was seen in five patients out of 17 with incidence of 29.41%. This is the uh, slide showing pre and post op neuric grading. Uh, transformation post-surgically with red block showing a uh, deteriorating number of uh, patients. So these five patients, out of these five patients, two patients recovered partially, whereas three patients did not improve at all. Out of that, one patient had to undergo uh, revision dorsal decompression because at two years post-surgery, they were found to have a lower limb weakness and that's why the surgery was done. We found that financial aspect point of view also single stage surgery can save up to 33 to 50 percent of overall cost compared to multi-stage surgery. Also loss of working days wise also we feel that in our study uh, we have shown that it's up to almost uh, half to two third uh, loss of working days can be saved. So few cases, this is 55 year old male patient with multi-level uh, cervical dorsal and lumbar stenosis. This is the post-operative picture showing do a good decompression. Second case with OPLL, OLF, and severe lumbar canal stenosis. The post-operative picture showing good decompression. 
third case similar uh, kind of picture of multi level all three region stenosis with good post operative radiological imaging so a triple original spinal stenosis is a rare condition treatment strategies are uh, found to be variable in the literature dilemma will always remain whether which which is the causative region for the symptoms but you need to give importance to the symptomatology of the patient and matching radiological picture we always always take neurological uh, neurophysician's opinion during our pre op workup to rule out any non spine cause to the symptoms in literature uh, there there are no large series of such kind of uh, etiology most of them are case reports of and that too of multi stage surgeries so this is our first case series where large number of patients are included if you take into consideration indian scenario uh, unlike western population maximum population is divided of enough government aided or private medical insurance support so there is huge financial burden on patients both during surgery and post surgery during their rehab and also our indian mentality of our patients is they uh, they don't want multiple surgeries so to certain extent our single stage surgery for this critical condition addresses all these concerns financial aspect and loss of working days wise i have already mentioned that it significantly saves on both fronts so take home message is single stage decompression surgery for triple regional spinal stenosis is a effective surgical way of treatment with reasonable good outcome uh, functionality wise one should have high level of uh, suspicion when the when these kind of patients come to your opd uh, one should rule out non spine causes uh, before uh, subjecting uh, to surgery don't hesitate in asking list of investigations because these investigations only are going to help you in your diagnosis or confirming your diagnosis and for surgical planning use of newer modalities like bone scalpel should be used which is a safe and quick tool and good vigorous uh, physiotherapy protocol has to be followed in all patients for good uh, functional outcome thank you thank you